it's my great pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the Council of Monash University to this, the 1,129th graduation ceremony of Monash University. Each day when I walk to my office, I pass through streams of young people brimming with potential. Their energy, their desire to learn, their ambition to make their mark upon the world are palpable. We're here today to remember five men who were tragically denied those opportunities. On the wall, on the upper tier of this theatre, sits the Pharmacy Roll of Honour. It lists the names of nearly 200 Victorian pharmacists, including approximately 30 Victorian pharmacy students who served in World War I. Today, we confer posthumous Bachelors of Pharmacy with Honours upon four students. Alan Coove, Eric Bissett, Gordon Jukes and Malcolm Jones. Each of them enrolled at the Melbourne College of Pharmacy. Each served in the infantry. Each burned brightly with promise and had that promise extinguished in that war. In death, they will receive the contemporary equivalent of the qualification that was stolen from them in life. We also honour a fifth student, Frank Carr. He landed on the beaches of Gallipoli on the 25th of April 1915. And over the next seven days, he continuously rescued and carried wounded men single-handedly from exposed positions while under exceptionally heavy machine gun and artillery fire. To receive a certificate of recognition and appreciation for Frank Carr's service, I present to you Frank's 93-year-old son, Mr. Patrick Carr. Today we add a postscript to the stories of those past students because, as with all graduates, they are joined forever in their connection to this institution. <laughs>